You've passed and you've failed are both outcomes you can get in two very different situations. The first situation is the dreaded driving test, and the second is the SMTP authentication process. As for SMTP authentication, these outcomes do come with a bit more complexity. In this video, we'll explore related response codes as well as what each of them means. Hello, and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. SMTP authentication response codes are numerical codes given by SMTP servers in response to commands sent by email clients. By knowing the meaning of each of these codes, you can gain insight into the success or failure of an attempted operation and better diagnose issues related to email delivery as well as SMTP server authentication. Generally, SMTP authentication response codes can be divided into four categories. Success, further action required, temporary failure, and permanent failure. Response codes in the success category mean that the requested action has been received, understood, and accepted by the server. Code 235 of this category is sent in response to a successful auth command, indicating that the client has been authenticated and may proceed with email submission. Code 250, on the other hand, is a general success code that suggests the server has accepted a command relating to authentication or other SMTP operations. Further action required response codes suggest that an operation is in progress and further action is needed to complete it. Code 334, which is sent when the server needs to request further information from the client, and Code 354, which is sent when the server is ready to receive the message body, both belong to the Further Action Required Response Code category. The Temporary Failure Response Code category covers problems that are expected to be resolved without changes on the client's part, such as waiting for the server to become less busy or for temporary network issues to be resolved. In this category, there are three noteworthy codes. Code 421, which is usually sent in response to an auth command if the server is temporarily unable to handle requests. Code 432, which indicates that the current password needs to be changed before authentication can proceed. And Code 454, which points to a temporary issue with the authentication process, such as a server problem or delay in verifying credentials. Last but not least, for situations when the server is unable to perform a requested operation due to a permanent error, there are codes belonging to the Permanent Failures category. The most prominent codes in this category are Code 500, which tells the user that the auth command was sent incorrectly but without providing specific details. Code 501, which specifies that there is an error in the parameters of the auth command, such as the format of the username or password. Code 530, which is sent if a client attempts to perform an operation without being authenticated. Code 535, which indicates that the server has rejected a login attempt, usually due to an incorrect username or password. And Code 538, which is sent if the server requires the connection to be encrypted before proceeding with authentication. And that wraps up our exploration into the world of SMTP authentication response codes. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Mailtrap an email delivery platform to test, send, and control your email infrastructure all in one place. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. More email-related content is on the way. See you there.